Okay, guys. Now we are going to learn a new chord. By now, uh, we have talked about C major chord and we used it in our songs. Today, we are going to learn a new chord. It is called a G seventh chord. Let's look at the board. G seventh chord has four notes in it. Remember that a chord is the combination of more than two. You can have four, you can have three notes, you can have five notes. So G seventh chord has four with a G note on the bottom. That's why it is called G seventh chord. Because the main, the root of the chord is G note. Now, let's look what we can have here. We can put this G note on top and you will have B, D, F, G. So, G note is on top. So, let's mark actually. Let's mark G, B, D, F. And here you will have B, D, F and G. So, you are using the same notes, but you invert this chord. So, this is called the inversion of G7 chord, the first inversion. If you put the bottom note on top, you will have another inversion of the same chord. So, let's see, we have D, F, G and B. So F, G, B. So, let's mark the notes. So, we have D, F, G and B. So, this is going to be another inversion of the same G7 chord. So, we will put second inversion. And we can also put this note on top and you will have a different combination of the same chord. So, this is going to be F, G, B and D. And it will be called the third inversion of the same G7 chord. G7 chord that we are learning today. So, guys, it's important also to um, remember that uh, very often in music books or in different study materials, the chords that are used there, they are not having all the notes, all of the four notes. Very often one note is missing. Uh, it's done, especially for the beginning level, to make sure that people are comfortable playing the notes. Sometimes it's, it's difficult to play four notes at the same time. That's why uh, the te many textbooks are using only three notes. So, if you look at the first inversion of the G7 chord, for example, you might have this note just omitted, so it will be missing. So, the chord is going to be just B, F, G, for example. It will sound uh, the same, but um, one note is not going to be there. But this, this chord will belong to the same G7 harmony. Now, let's practice our G7 chord on the piano. For this exercise, you will need only your left hand because we will be practicing in the bass clef. Please put your hand in a C position. Your finger 5 of your left hand has to be on C and other fingers just following one key at a time, following in order. One note per finger. C G, B, F, G, C, E, G, B, F, G. You need to remember that you are moving your finger 5 from C to B. So you are not stuck on one key, you are moving away from the C key. Let's play it again. C, E, G, B, F, G, C, E, G, B, F, G. 
and one more exercise we are going to do is just to play these two chords C major chord and G seventh chord remember to move your finger five from C to B C major chord G seventh chord C major chord and again C major chord G seventh chord C major chord okay let's talk about tied notes we call the notes tied notes when you have two notes that are the same and if they're connected together with a curved line so the same notes G and G for example or D and D A and A so the notes have to be the same now what happens when you have tied notes is you press this note once and you hold it for four counts because you know that a whole note gets four counts so you have one two three four and you are not pressing the second note you will be holding one two three four and again one two three four without pressing the second note so the the overall you will be holding this note one two three four one two three four so four and four is eight counts so it will basically make the same sound longer you can do the same with the other note values it can be a quarter note it can be a half note or any other note just remember that the note has to be the same sound it can be a different uh, note value okay it's time to play a song with the new chord g seventh chord also you will have your tied notes in the song before we start playing let's look at the song we are about to play in this song you will be keeping your hands in c position you are having your four four time signature you're counting on one two three four you will have your quarter notes you will have your half notes you will have your whole notes and also in measure one and two and in measure five and six you will have your tied notes remember we when we have two notes that are the same on the same line or the same space joined with a curved line they're called tied notes and we are holding the key down for the combined value of both notes before we play the whole song let's just play one hand at a time remember that it is much easier to learn a song if you first learn one hand at a time and then you can combine both hands so first i will play with my right hand i start on e with finger three e d c d e e e d d d e g g e d c d e e e d d e d c okay now let's look at our left hand in the left hand we only have C major chords and G7 chord C major chord then you have G7 chord C major chord and again measure 5 and 6 it is a C major chord tied notes measure 7 is a G7 chord and measure 8 is your C major chord now we are ready to play with both hands 
Let's put our hands in a C position and we will play in a slow tempo. I will play first counting on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, Now we are ready to play it in a much faster tempo and I will play the whole song faster without counting on one, two, three, four. Okay, now it's time to practice. We will learn the song the same way, first hands separately. Let's look at the song. The song is in 4-4. Four four. It has quarter notes, it has half notes, it has whole notes, it has tied notes, it has C major chords, G7 chords, everything that you have learned up to this point. So the same position we had before, C position, right hand, thumb is on middle C, left hand, finger 5 on C below middle C. First let's play with your right hand. I will be playing, naming the notes. Let's play your left hand. C major chord, measure one and two. Then you have your G seventh chord again, two measures, tied notes. Then measure five and six, you have your C major chord, tied notes. And measure seven is a G seventh chord. Measure eight is your C major chord. Let's play the song counting on one, two, three, four. 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 And I will play it again without saying anything, without counting. Okay, it's time to practice. Now, guys, let's look at the treble clef and your right hand in terms of G7 chord, it's going to be all the same. So we will be having G, B, D, F, four notes, G, seventh chord. Now we can switch the sounds around the same way we did before. B, D, F, G. It's a first inversion, first inversion. Okay, let's do the second inversion. D, F, G, B, second inversion. And the third inversion will be F, G, B, D. It's a third inversion. The same way we can omit some sounds in the G7 chord. So in different books you can have for example, this sound missing, so D will be 
omitted and you will have BFG. It's all done only for your comfort. So the, the, it's, the harmony is going to sound the same. Just one sound in the chord will be missing. Let's practice our G seventh chord. Now we will be doing it only in the treble clef with your right hand. For that, put your hand in C position with your thumb on middle C and you will be moving from C to B, just like that. to your thumb for C major C major G seventh C major G seventh now let's play the same chords but you will press your notes together C major G seventh chord C major and I will play again remember to move your thumb C major G seventh chord C major chord please practice let's practice a song with G seventh chord in your right Hand. The song will be called Mary Ann. As always, before you play, please look at the song. Look at your time signature. The time signature is for four. Look at your note values, half notes, quarter notes, whole notes. Also look at your tied notes. Your tied notes are going to be in measures three and four, then seven and eight, 11 and 12 and 15 16 remember when the same notes are connected with a curved line they're called tied notes and you are not going to press the second note but you will be holding that note for the value of the note so the note is there you're just not pressing the note okay and as always let's uh, practice first one hand at a time. I will start with my left hand. For that I will put my left hand in a C position. Your finger 5 will be on C, below middle C, and other fingers are just following one note per finger. I start on E, finger 3. I will play naming the notes. G, C, E, E, D, F, hold, tight note, D, F, F, B, D, D, C, E, then hold your tight note, E, E, G, look at your right hand. In your right hand for the most part you are having rests. You will be playing only your chords in measure 4, then in measure 8, in measure 12 and measure 16. In measure 4 you are having your G7. In measure 8 you are having your C major chord. Then in measure 12 you are having your G7 again. And in the last measure you are having your C major chord. And now we are ready to play the whole song. I will first play counting on one, two, three, four. 
We are ready to play the whole song without saying anything and without counting. <laughs> 